Hey guys, Nayesh here. So one of the most popular Android Room Hammer coins just got a new update, and now we have Hammer Coins 3.7. In this video, we'll talk about performance, gaming performance, and what's new in this update. So let's get started. So with this new update, the customization is even better. Now you get more themes, more clock, new icons for your status bar, your QS panel. Even you can have these tinted accent colors in your QS panel, and it looks really good. Now you can give your icon this new kind of shape, and same kind of shape will be applied to your QS panel, so it matches the theme. So there are plenty of new fonts added, so even without root, you can enjoy new fonts, and this can be applied system wide. You also get many new lock screen clock. Now you can put battery bar on the top of your status bar and below the status bar. So if you are having a phone with the notch, then you can definitely use this feature to enjoy this battery bar in your phone. And if you're having more than one SIM card, then finally in the QS panel, there is an option where you can tap on that and switch your data from one SIM to another. So first of all, in the about section, this is HavoQuiz 3.7 with the latest security patch of 5th July. Now kernel in my phone is dirty kernel. This can be different in your phone. But if you really want to take your phone to next level, then install a custom kernel called Agni kernel. With that kernel, you get maximum performance in PUBG and overall day-to-day -day use. You can comment below and let me know if you want to see Agni kernel video on this channel. So all the gaming tools that I used to get in previous version like FPS Info and Screen Recorder with internal audio is still there, but now you can record with 20 Mbps bitrate in your phone. So I personally tested this screen recorder and it actually records 60 FPS of your gameplay. So now when you scroll down beside the battery icon, you can see the remaining battery life. And just below that, you get this network traffic monitor. Now this is really useful if you are having some shady apps like Facebook. So you get custom camera in this new version where you can actually control everything about your photos and videos. And it can shoot in 4K UHD too. I also tried different cameras like Gcam and it really works in this room. So I get this question a lot, let's talk about the payment amps. So payment amps are working fine if you don't root this room and if you don't root your room, normally payment amps works like Google Play or all the mobile banking apps works great. They are not able to detect whether your phone has a custom room or not. So now let's talk about the gaming performance. If you are a PUBG lover or if you like mobile gaming, then I would highly recommend you stay on version 3.6. Many times while playing PUBG, I got random reboots, my phone become hot. So either you can stay on HavoCoins 3.6 or previous version, or you can install any other different ROM. So how is HavoCoins 3.7 if you are non-gamer? Well then it's really a good ROM. You won't find any problem or any bugs in this room. Battery life is great. I watched a full movie on MX Player for 2 hours and still my battery was 64%. Hello Coins runs really great on older hardware, so if you are the kind of guy who has older phones, then you should definitely install Hello Coins because Hello Coins performs extremely well on older devices. As you can see in the video, this is my Redmi Note 4, and now it's almost four year old phone. So download links and how to install video is in description, and like this video if you want to see Agni kernel video on Hello Coins, and I will see you tomorrow.